Hey guys, it's Crystal. Um, this is day five of the Juice Fast. I thought I would go ahead and try to make a message real quick. Before my day got started, to be honest, it is 6 a.m. and I still have not been to bed. Um, if my job requires time, it requires time, but I did want to put a video out there. Let you know how things are going. Um, I'm currently drinking, um, a green drink. Like, the green drink. Um, That's what it looks like. Okay. I have... This is breakfast and dinner. And the beets is what makes it all this color. Because the color of the beets is really, really strong. But this actually has cabbage, kale, um, bananas, beets, apples, a few pears, carrots, celery, and sweet potatoes in it. So it's, it's got several, several, and this is the second one that I've had to make. Um, I only had like this much in it earlier, and I was like, I need to remake it. So, I just remade this today, and then I thought I would show you what they look like. And then lunch, I won't lie to you, lunch is terrible. It it's mainly just uh, greens. You can even see how thick it is. It's mainly just greens. Um, so on a, similar to the green drink, just about the beets. I made the green drink as I was like juicing. But um, this one has ca a lot of kale, a lot of cabbage, um, a bag of carrots. And, oh yeah, and I poured some mango lossy in it. But this is oh and celery. But this is probably the nastiest. Once again, just remade it. You can see all this on the top. It's a nutrient, so make sure you shake it up. Okay, in between you're gonna get thirsty, right? So I made an in between drink. And as you can tell by the color, it's mainly mango and carrots. It's got um, apples, mango, carrots, and sweet potatoes in it. And this is what I am drinking in between. This also has flaxseed in it, which is just really good when you're juicing. Well, it's really good all the time. It's especially good when you, you know, you're just drinking juice. I did, I did have a glass of wine two nights ago, um, I don't feel guilty about it, I think I've done, I think I've done pretty good, but, I have not cheated, but then, and then this is kinda, I guess, what I'm cheating on is, this is called, that's the actual color, it's a mango color, it's, um, a mango lossy, which is actually an Indian drink. Um, it's Greek yogurt, um, man mango pulp, and I use, I like to use either the Dunkin' Donuts or International Delights, just regular, uh, sweet, sweet cream, like creamer for your coffee. I like to use a little bit of it. I mix a little bit of it, a little bit of water, mango, uh, pulp, and the Greek yogurt. And it just made one pitcher. That's what I should have drank. Uh, well, we go back to the store till Tuesday, so I might have gone something before then. I just, I'm so tired. I'm sorry. Um, 
I do want to make a video. I noticed that I am getting some views, but I'm getting likes, dislikes, comments, um, feedback, period. And I'm wondering, like, is it because I say keep it positive? I mean, just because I want you to keep it positive, don't feel like you can post. You can't post. Sorry, you guys. My hair. I had it back. Anyways. Um, I just, uh, I don't quite get it, but, um, subscribe, you know, give me a like, um, oh, you can also follow me on, uh, Twitter, Crystal Campbell at, I think it's, I will survive zero, no, it's, uh, Crystal Campbell at Will Survive Zero. So follow me on Twitter. I'll be tweeting and putting pictures on there. Also talking to you guys. Um, I have been on the computer for a day and a half writing, and I'm exhausted. Um, what was I going to tell you guys about? I had, oh, I was going to speak a little bit about, um, Orthodox Christianity, because, um, somebody said something negative about it, to, like, toward me today, and, uh, I, hell, I even made some notes. Okay, um, I am an Orthodox Christian, I converted from Catholicism, so I went basically from Catholic to Orthodox, which made it a lot easier for me because we have some of the same, I guess, rituals, etc. So, I'm bleeding my West Virginia cap. <laughs> Anyways, okay. He had the belief in one God, Catholic, and Apostolic Church. And those those words are part of the creed in which if you go to the church more like you said the creed because it said before communion. Um one of the most important things about being Orthodox is confession. Um you make an appointment with your priest and you go and you get everything off your chest. And then he, you know, he hears, he prays about it, like, over you, and that's it, you're forgiven. Um, you don't have to worry about those sins anymore. You know, it's as where, when I was Catholic, I got punished for some of my sins, but when I did confession there. So I pretty much did confessionals my whole life, but, you know... It's much easier with this priest. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, in the bar, in the Bible, it even even God said to confess your sins amongst others, and that's First James five sixteen on the King James version version. But yeah, we we do have an Orthodox Bible. Um. Confess your sins to one another and pray for one another. Okay. Um, th and, you know, okay, confession is a big part of our religion. One, because we feel like it keeps us in connection with God. And two, you can't take communion. Unless you have, take, you have, have had at a confession within a certain amount of time. Um, okay. Um, baptism. It takes a while. And when I say while, I don't mean like a little while. I mean it takes a while. It took me like a year or something. Sorry, it's early and I've let us know. But, um,
you go from, uh, I went to the church for three and a half years before I was invited to become a member. Looks creepy, doesn't it? Wow, my face is so crazy. I can't, I'm, I can't wait to wash my face and change the clothes. I was already in like a comfy hoodie, but for sure. Oh, yeah. I had a cute shirt on underneath this. And then I'll go back to my story. In case you haven't realized by now, like by all my gear, I live in West Virginia. This is like the cutest shirt. I had on gray leggings, which is all I could get to. And I had on gray leggings with them. And then I had a bl uh, navy blue. Our colors are um, yellow and blue. I had on a blue. Um, this is very, very nice. Please be beads. Oh no. I guess may not be a big deal to anybody else, but Abercrombie and Fitch is still one of my favorite like clothing places. Places to get clothing. They just fit good on me. Okay. Um okay, you and it, it 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 don't take as long if you were born into the religion. If I just can see, it doesn't take as long if you're born into the religion. But if you aren't, then it takes a while. Like I said, I attend three and a half years. He approached me. I didn't want to ask because I needed to be a member of the church. You had to basically be invited. So I just let it ride. And um. The first thing you you do you you're given a lot of material to read a lot of material to read. I'm having a hard time reading this. Sorry, I don't have my glasses and all my contacts in. I took them out like two hours ago. It's making my eyes itch. Anyways, um, I mean, I remember reading three books, a couple of. Like printed out b books, like you know, home printer. Actually, um, there was like two of those that I read. See, and he he made it sound like I was be I'm gonna be quizzed on it, so I read it all. And then when I go to take it back to him, he's like, oh, "Okay," he says, "So now you're a catechumen. While you're a catechumen, you're just basically waiting and learning." And you'll have a session with the priest to see if he thinks you're ready. And if so, then they serve your baptism. And, um, mine was in August four, year, four or five years, five years ago. In August, five years ago. So, um, at that point, you become a member of your parish. Or, you know, like, your church. Sorry, I'm not, I wasn't familiar either way. I was either Catholic or Orthodox. I wasn't familiar with other religions. But, um, and one father, which is the one of your parish, is taken very, very seriously on that. Uh, the end of that Bible verse was, um, even God said to confess your sins amongst others, that ye, he may be healed. The effectual, effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Okay. Um. Let's see, I'm just basically trying to give you the highlights because not a lot of people are understanding that they think we're Catholic and end up doing me. Um, I'm not Catholic. Um, 
so our services are Sunday morning. It lasts about an hour and a half. It's called Divine Liturgy. Um, but people are still there probably about an hour because we have coffee hour afterwards and everybody, you know, gets on there to chat. So, um, it's usually, I'd say usually about two and a half hours you're going to be there, one and a half, if not, if you don't go downstairs. Yeah. Oh, people also cook and we eat, like, good food, like, you gotta remember some of the, like, most of the people that go to my church are, like, from the Middle East, um, you know, there's a few Americans, but they're really good cooks, and, you know, some that, you know, some hummix, just really good cooks there. Like, I've never heard of, like, cooking anything there because I don't want to be, like, um, prepared or, uh, compared to everything. So, alright, like I said, I'm tired. And I'm about done. I'm, I'm going to try to make this video 20 minutes or four. Um, Wednesday morning service about one hour, and it's called Matins. It's just uh, chanting prayers all the time and um, reading some of the gospel. Saturdays, one hour evening service. It's called Vespers. And during the year, there could be more church days during divine times of the year. You know, fasting, um, Christ's birthday, or on Easter, there's a few several ones. Um, and on New Year's. So. Oh, church. I don't make it as often as I should. Um, I wish I could, but I'm not in a position where I can, and I do miss it. Leaving that church left me with a feeling like no other, especially after I started taking communion. So, um, I still study scripture at home. Sometimes, uh... I watch like Divine Liturgy or Vespers or something like that on YouTube. Um, and my priest, I actually I have a good relationship with him where he has to do some parish when it's time for everybody. That was really great. Um, me and him were getting really close, and I don't know, it's amazing. Seems it can be changed, but you deal with change, don't you? You just deal with it and move on. Sorry, I'm monotone. I am tired, but <clears throat> like I said, I want to make this so that I can publish it to be out tomorrow. But um, I'm only nine views away from a hundred total, like, uh, from all our videos, um, and I think I, I think I should have said more than that, <laughs> I need a volume camera, one that I could take around with me, because people always start random conversations with me, um, it, I don't know, but it's it's all funny. You guys would really love that. People love to go to the grocery store with me because they they think it's hilarious. And I'm afraid all people do it. Um. Oh. We're all built and designed in the world today to sin and make mistakes. It's all about what you do about them and when. And which means, you know, you immediately correct it. And, you know, you pray about it. You know, say you're sorry or, you know, do whatever you do. Um...
what what you do like do you apologize you take the high road do you ignore them do you have to like they don't exist you don't say anything like what do you do that's what matters <clears throat> okay um Even though I miss church a lot, I still do confession and take, um, I still do confession and take communion, um, regular, regularly, if I can't make it. Um, Um, I'll, I'll rant in just a second. I've already went past 20 minutes. Okay, the traditions we have, icons are very important, and candles. We like candles and pray over them. Um, and all, everything like that is blessed. We do have holy water. Um, we do believe in blessings. An Orthodox funeral is very lengthy, and the entire book of Psalms is read in different languages. While people um, are saying their their goodbyes, there is a mercy meal, a very good meal. After this, um, full of comfort food, and I'm almost done. Um, an Orthodox wedding is also lengthy, but, you know, it's me, it, it's a union. Also, in order to marry me, you'd have to ask Father's permission. If he does give you permission, we get a church wedding, and then, um, we get, we go through a bunch of marriage counseling. We get married, then we get through more marriage counseling, and then in a few years, more marriage counseling. Okay. I would stand up and say that I was a Christian. Um, I bet yeah, I'm orthodox. At least I know if I got killed, I was in a place of heaven called paradise. Hey, that's all right. But um, everybody asked me a lot about that. And if you have any other questions, comment in the like in the uh, boxes below. Um, feel free to share my video, Facebook, Twitter, yeah, you know whatever. I finished my my pics. But I want to so I'm a self food. But babies, I have to go to sleep. I'm about to little sleep right here. And I'm just running four minutes. Good night.